welcome back to the channel. We're out back of our small greenhouse and we're starting to accumulate all of our wood chips. It's a beautiful November day today. We wanted to take advantage of this nice weather and get some work done. We got our load of wood chips. So we brought a truckload down here in order to get this pile cooking for our winter long-term compost heating system. I wanted to take a look at this compost pile. We're sitting about 125 degrees-ish. It's really hard to see in the sunlight there but we have a little over a cubic yard of material accumulated already so what we did is just kind of fenced this little area in to make a three cubic foot circle we haven't fenced this half off yet but we will be able to just continue filling we've got our whole truckload of wood chips here this pile is actively hot we mixed our hot compost pile in with these wood chips and kind of tossed it all around we ended up resituating our hose that runs through this pile in order to kind of stagger it up and get it through the whole mass of this pile it is pulling 125 degrees off this pile it's a nice sunny day so we don't have to compete with the cold temperatures outside sapping the heat from our compost at the same time as all of our systems are drawing. I want to kind of give a good perspective of the size of this pile we're having to use in order to heat this greenhouse all winter. And I wanted to share the process of mixing all these wood chips in with all of our green organic matter. And we were going to throw a bunch of our chicken bedding from our chicken coop on top of this and mix it in with water. And once this is fully built, we will probably throw a quarter of a five gallon bucket of urine on it in order to get it real hot. And then we will cover it with this tarp we have here. We kind of just made a bed to throw it into so we can just pack everything in nice and tight. We're going to put our little fence up to block it off here. So we will just have a massive geo bin or a giant gene pain compost pile that should cook 125 to 145 degrees for five to six months, maybe even longer. I just wanted to share the process of building this Gene Payne compost pile out of wood chips from a regular compost pile that was just organic matter from our garden. When you're building a long-term pile like this, you want a high-term energy matter like a wood chip or sawdust or any organic material that has a lot of stored energy in it. So I'll be bringing another update here once we get this pile finished up and all of this material in here and then we'll insulate it with a layer of straw all the way around in order to keep that heat and insulate it inside the tarp from losing all that heat to the outside environment. So we pretty well got this down to a science and we've had so many questions since we started filming this heating system and sharing what we're doing here. So I thought I would share the whole process. This is about halfway complete. We're gonna finish this up by staggering organic matter and layers of wood chips about four inches thick. And these wood chips still have a lot of good material in them. You can see that they're nice and moist still have a lot of energy left to burn so we will be able to get a good hot burn off of this pile throughout the winter. I just want to thank everybody for watching and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already.